Platonic brotherly love and manipulative politicians. That is not womanly. It's geeky. But I like that book. From now on, you have to read books like this. In the great big cereal box of books, we have a uh, seventh gate. Ooh. Into the labyrinth. This and this and this. This one's the best. What's so good about this book? It's just a barbarian fighting a dragon. Exactly. It's got the rugged main character for the womanly people to love, and he's fighting for the hand of his fiance. So I have to read books with unrealistically muscular men and romantic subplots. Exactly, and if you want to be really feminine, you have to go on the internet and ship all the male characters together. Uh... Yeah, and next you're going to need the womanly clothes. I am not wearing a bra. You have to. Bras are womanly. I so don't want to be effeminate, not female. But female people are effeminate. Ugh. This has gone far now. Put on the shoes before you say that. Uh. Okay, this has gone far hey, enough. Hey, pitch up your voice. What? Never mind, never mind. Just, um... Uh, here. Forget it! I'll call Thwur and tell Thwur we can't see each other anymore. Thwur? Oh, sorry. It was the word I made up with my friend as a gender neutral pronoun. Like as an alternative to a singular they. Oh? Can you rephrase that last sentence? I'll call them and tell them that we can't see each other. Um, no, no. Without singular they. I'll call him? And they got married and lived happily ever after. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that to happen. Hey, don't go! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Stop laughing. You ruined it. Hey, don't go! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 